Nightside. 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 This is the Nightside Project. And the truth shall set you free. Nightside on KSL. Never. Go to bed. But see, that's the problem. We have free soda machines here at work. All right, if I get diabetes, then I'm claiming workman's comp. The Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. This is the dumbest story I've heard all day. Fisher Price is rolling out a a high-tech exercise bike for toddlers. And when we say toddlers, it's, I mean, it's real toddlers. I mean, this, this a, that's is like, like a two, two, three, four years yeah, old. Yeah, she's like a three-year-old on this mm-hmm. thing. And it's it a little- It is an exercise bike. It's an exercise bike. and But here's the thing. I actually like this product. Now, what's your objection, Why? Alex? What's, what's your objection? Well, tell because, me honestly. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what an exercise bike is for toddlers? I call it a bike. I call it a tricycle. Because kids don't need to have an – what's – my real problem with this is this. They sit around this plastic thing, and they sit in front of the TV. It's a stationary, plasticky stationary mm-hmm. bike yeah. where the kid plays a game while they're doing well, their – while they're the getting point. their exercise in. Well, but that's the point because I don't think this is really necessarily about the exercise. So what this does is this connects to a game device, and, and you can play these – they are learning games, right? So they're like alphabet games and number games and shape games. And you plug the bike into the TV, and then the controller is the exercise bike. You can pedal <laughs> forward. You can pedal backwards. This is you terrible. You can steer, and you play these games. So the idea is is this gives this parents is, the ability to not have to parent well, it's they, for huge chunks of time. They're marketing it as an electronic device that parents can feel more comfortable putting their kids in front of because they're not completely immobile well, while and, they play. Well, and here's they're getting some say. kind of exercise. And honestly, I think uh, it's kind of a cool idea for fine. a controller. As parents in 2017, we're stuck in a weird place too. Parents are can't let you can't let your kids out to do anything because they'll go. He let his kids out in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You know who's out there, right? The sex predators. And and then they go, well, they were an irresponsible parent for letting their seven and eight year olds run around the neighborhood uh, around the block, which is exactly what we all did. Right. Yeah. And the people who are complaining about it, it's what they all did. And then so we're stuck in a weird place where we're supposed to make sure that our kids uh, get some physical activity. But we're also not supposed to let them outside out of our sight for any amount of time. Yeah, Unless you're right about inside. that. Unless it's inside. When do we let them out of our so sight? So you should embrace this. Why no, aren't you embracing I'm, no, this? No, I'm saying that everybody is a – this is the product of us being a bunch of crybabies. We have had to mass produce Fisher-Price exercise bikes for children. This is ridiculous. This is the worst first world problem I've ever seen. I kind of like it. I oh, I honestly do, and I – I'm glad you don't have toddlers because you would be the kind of guy who I would have given this a shot. Yes. If this would have come out a few years ago when my kids were younger, then, yeah, I would have given this a shot. I think it's kind of neat. I would have tried it, too. I would have sat on it and broken it. Look, this is a sad, sad indicator where America is, right? Just another one. You know, you and the eggnog. How is that possible? I tell you, I tell you that this is something I totally would have bought and you're all this is ruining America. I'm just telling. I'm not saying that you ruined America. Are we really I'm that, just that divergent on our opinions? Yeah. On this? Well, when you go, oh, well, this looks like a pretty good product. Hmm. The usual, just like just trying to be a naysayer, or no, a, I or really, a, yay, a yay I sayer. really, I really would have given this a this shot. Is ter- this is a terrible idea. We'll have more of Ethan's terrible ideas coming up. <laughs>